As it happens, every time that you write a GUI, you're actually writing a multi-threaded program. GUIs will have multiple threads that are working on different things. And because of this, there are some precautions that you need to take, especially when you are writing your own threads. So to help illustrate this, we're going to first write a little GUI program. It doesn't do much of anything. Um, we'll just call it our thread GUI because it's going to demonstrate some aspects of GUIs for us. So it will extend JFX app and we need our stage title um, Actually, it's the event. Let's call it that. Event thread demo. Because what I'm actually going to show you here is the fact that GUIs typically have one thread that is kind of special to them, and that is the event thread. And everything that they do for you, pretty much, is being done in that event thread. And it turns out that ScalaFX and well, JavaFX are no different. There is a sp special event thread. So to demonstrate this, what I want to do is I want to make a new button. We'll just have it say, click me. And that button will be the root of our GUI. So it will just fill up our entire little scene that we made there and we're going to give it an action. Now, in general, the idea here is this would be some action that something that just takes time. Okay. Now, to make it easy, we're going to make it sleep for 10 seconds. Okay. And for that to be happy, we need to put our import fx dot includes dot underscore. So when we click the button, all it's going to do is it's just going to go through and pause for 10 seconds. But it's interesting to see what impact that has on the GUI. So there's our button. It's there. I can resize the button, change the size with it. But then I click the button. And now I go and I resize. And you'll see that the button isn't redrawing. Okay, nothing's happening there. And we wait. Wait, boom, and now it wakes up. Okay. There is one event thread in the J JavaFX GUIs, and everything from redrawing the display to handling your events happens inside of that event thread. I can resize the window because the window is being run by the outside window manager, but nothing inside of the window will respond to me. Even more, watch this. I can't close it. Okay, so I was attempting to, to close this. I hit the X. In fact, my operating system says, are you sh sure about this? It's not responding. And then at the end of the 10 seconds, it closes. So the thing this tells you is, if you want to keep your GUIs responsive, you can't do long-running tasks inside of the event thread. Well, we can actually demonstrate this uh, in pretty concrete ways inside of our drawing program. So I'm going to open two of the files for our drawing program. I copied them over into uh, the multi-threading drawing package. And first I want to add one new command here. A command is going to be called freeze. And as the name implies, what it's going to do is it is going to freeze the, well, it's just going to call sleep. So thread dot sleep, but we're going to make an adjustable sleep here. So I'm going to take the args, I'm going to trim them, I'm going to convert them to an int, and I'll multiply that by a thousand. So basically the number that we provide is the number of seconds that we want for the GUI to sleep. If we run this, there we go. Remember we have menus, we can look at them, but if I say freeze of five now, 
the menus aren't active. I can't select things, I can't move stuff until it's done. And now everything is, is happy, okay? We need to prevent that, okay? We need to be mindful of the fact that when there are things that could take a while, they need to happen in separate threads. But that introduces yet another concern, okay? So this, now freeze is kind of made up here, but I could have some other commands that are potentially long running. They do a lot of work. And if I'm going to do that, they need to not happen in the main thread because we will make our GUI unresponsive. So in this case, where are the commands being processed? Well, commands are being processed down here in the command handler. Now, the way I've written this right now, it's actually going to be somewhat hard to modify. So I'm going to pull out some of these pieces. I'm going to make some vowels. So I'm going to make a vowel for command that just takes the command from me. I'm going to make a val for result that is the running of that command and because of this we can now go down to just that. Um, okay. And the thing is I need this to not happen inside of on action, at least not in the thread from on action. So I'm going to spawn a future for it. So our result now is being done inside of a future, Scala concurrent future, save that. We're going to need to put in our import for our execution context. Okay, and that made this happy. Now, of course, at this point, this would just be telling us that there's a future there. We don't want to do this until the future is done. So we can take result dot for each r rocket. And then change this here so it's just r. Okay, let's run this see what happens with our freeze now. So when I type in freeze of five, <clears throat> I hit enter, all of this is active, I can select, I can move around, and at the end of five seconds my response pops up in here. Interesting thing that you can do, I can pause, I can do the freeze of five, and then I can say add one, two, three, that comes back immediately. RPN, three, two, plus, Okay, the freeze came back basically at the end of five seconds, even though I was doing other stuff inside of here. Turns out though there's a problem with this, and it would be a very subtle bug and you would not likely notice it. But when you modify the GUI, okay, that event thread is supposed to handle all modifications of the GUI. You should not do stuff that modifies the GUI in separate threads, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now because this is running off in its own thread for a future. It probably won't cause a problem unless this happens to happen at the exact same time that something else is modifying the, the command area, and that would cause a race condition, because the GUIs are not set up to be basically thread safe. They are set up to run everything in one thread. So how do I make sure that this happens in, my, in the main thread for handling events? And the answer to that is there is a command There is a, an object called platform that has a command in it called run later. And it takes an argument which is passed by name. And so we can do this. I can say, tell it to run, and as the name implies, it runs it later. What it really does is it schedules on the event thread for this code to happen, but it's on the main GUI event thread. So now this is safe uh, for appending that text. Turns out this isn't the only place where that we've written code where we would need to do this. Uh, inside of our commands, we have a refresh. The refresh causes a draw. Draw is modifying the, the GUI. Uh, it winds up going through and doing a whole bunch of stuff drawing to the canvas. And just so you know, I've had students come up with some very 
fun and challenging to diagnose bugs because they drew to a graphics context outside of the event thread. Uh, it can have very bizarre results. Um, your program just stops updating things properly. Uh, it, it looks weird and, and it doesn't give you any messages. It doesn't tell you that there is anything necessarily wrong. So when we call draw, we need to make sure that that draw happens in the main event thread. And so that's what this will do here. Now our refresh is safe. So things to take away from this, now, and of course I didn't have to do this before because the commands were being processed in an on action and then everything was happy. But now the commands are being processed in a future and so any commands that are gonna alter the GUI need to make sure that they cause those alterations to happen back on the event thread. So your takeaway messages here are there is one main event thread that you have in your GUIs and if you stall it out, if you pause it, if you do a lot of work on it, your, your GUI becomes unresponsive. To avoid that, you need to launch your work inside of separate futures or whatever, but not on that main thread. And in addition to that, you need to make sure that the actual GUI modifications do happen back in the event thread. All GUI modifications, all everything you draw, every time you update the, the properties on stuff that would actually change the GUI, that needs to happen in the main event thread and so you can use platform.run later to schedule those events.